Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today, I'm going to talk to you why it's important to play with the camera angle in BuildBox 3. Let's check it out with my new game, Bounce and Break. Before I begin, don't forget to like and subscribe as I create content around making and playing games with those box. Here we got the game I'm currently working on. Here is just the ball bouncing. And when I was making this game, after I finalized the game mechanic, I realized that the next important thing is the camera angle. And by clicking this button up here, you can see what the camera sees. And this is super important. I also like to click the camera icon over here because then you can see the the different positions and the rotation and the scale that the camera is. I wonder if you make this scale smaller but that does that do anything? Okay so it does give you like a zoom in of everything. Cool I had not seen that before now I'm curious to see if I change it to two what happens. Okay lot going on. When it comes to the camera angle, changing this can literally change your entire game. If you have made a lot of progress but you currently don't like the feel of your game, I suggest playing around with the camera angle. See if you can't find an angle that you think is a little bit better than what you were working with before. Don't be afraid to play around and get lost. Spend 5, 10, 30 minutes just messing around with the camera angle. See if something is better than what you're working with now. The camera angle is so easy to change in BuildBox. You can just have a brand new perspective that has never been seen before. You know, something like this is clearly not a good game. Makes it extremely difficult to play this game that I've made. But that's not the point. The point is if you want to just be able to see different angles and see what might also work that you had not originally planned up. The biggest point is that this is really easy to do and if you play around with the camera angle you can find something that is unique and hasn't been done before in a way you would expect. An angle like this definitely shows you the depth of the game that I've created and how the tiles move up which is something you cannot see in a previous angle. Personally I don't like this type of isometric game, I find it very difficult. At the same time I am always open to new perspectives and yeah that's just not gonna work. I think this is just amazing. I think the fact that you can just open BuildBox and look at different angles like this with ease shows you the versatility of BuildBox. Now again I always select this camera icon over here because I usually want my position in X0. You will probably be different than me so do not expect that you will have the same settings as me because that is silly. I know what I like and in time you will learn what you like. Of course I had saved the previous setting just in case I don't find anything new. What I'm looking for is see where the ball is going to fall, break the tile and bounce off. In some areas of the game that is difficult to tell. So I'm just trying to make that transition easier. I don't know if it's truly possible but I'm definitely going to try because it's really easy to do in the box with the camera angle. That's it for today. When you've got your core game mechanic figured out but you feel like something could be better, take a good 10, 20, 30 minutes and play with the camera angle. Be sure to save it before and if it doesn't work out, so be it. But remember to be open to new perspectives which is literally what you're looking at when you look at different camera angles. If you like this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. It lets the YouTube algorithm know I'm making good videos. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're working on. And until next time, peace.